All right, guys, step one to deploying the spool tenna is to get the radiating uh, element, the wire, elevated. Um, so nobody laugh at the old man. This could take a few tries. Like I said, it could take a few tries. We're going to try it again. Two tries. Now what I do on the end of my throw line is simply uh, tie in a little loop like so. So I got something to attach to. Stand by. That burnt my hand. It burnt my hand, that rope did. Go get me some gloves. All right, so once we have the radiating wire, the wire clipped into the throw line, it's a matter of inserting an ink pen, screwdriver, or whatever else you have, and then we're just gonna walk it out toward our operating position. Switch this way so it's a better view for the camera. It just doesn't get much easier than this, guys. Let's go take a look at the feed point. Because there are a few uh, kind of critical pieces, things that are, that are important. Okay, so on the feed point, the critical thing is, is that you need strain relief. So here's the radiating wire. When I elevate the other end, we don't want this pulling on the banana clip connection. So the makers of Spool Tenor, Rob and Christie, have done a great job of incorporating strain relief. So the pull on this wire is not on the connection. The pull's on this little carabiner right here that I have clipped to this antenna. Uh, antenna this uh, electric fence post so that's where the strain relief is so now let me see if I can get the uh, other end elevated we'll see what it looks like here's the feed point and you can see that the pull is not here this this is completely loose completely loose the strain relief is working the wire is pulling on uh, on the little paracord that's attached to the little carabiner so the strain, strain relief is working. Now, if you follow the wire, I'll show you. I was able to get it elevated about 20 feet or so. If I don't, I don't know how well you can see that, but it is right up there. Oh, yeah, so elevated very well and then just uh, runs back over here uh, to the fence post and uh, yeah it's working as it should now let's see what the next step is how about attaching coax so spool tender recommends uh, rg316 in fact if you purchase one of their bundles uh, or you can even bundle it just a spare spool with the high-vis wire with the RG316. You can buy the RG316 with the ferrites separately. Utilizes a BNC con connector, okay? So I'm going to attach the coax with the BNC. But I use, uh, this is ABR, I think it's uh, ABR uh, 240 UF for Ultraflex or something to, to that nature. So uh, I think that's the name. Anyway, it's ABR. It's like an RG8. Um, but anyway, we talked about strain relief with regard to the radiating element. We're also going to incorporate strain relief 
with the coax. So I don't want anything pulling against that BNC connector, right? So I'm gonna take this doing, doingy, <laughs> the, the, the boko tie or whatever you call this thing to provide strain relief against the uh, the heavier coax pulling on the BNC connector. So in this application, I'm just attaching it right here. Um, if I were going to elevate the entire feed point, like up in a tree, I could simply put the uh, doingy <laughs> through the same carabiner here that the radi radiating element strain relief is attached to and then elevate the whole thing. And that way the strain would be on this right here and not on the BNC connector. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it would be to take and put the bongo tie around the entire spool. Uh, but in this application, it's just a little easier to do it uh, just like that. So anyway, that's a deployment of a spool tenna. And uh, I love this thing. It's fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna run some uh, SWR sweeps using the Rig Expert Stick 230. This is 20 meters, 14.225 to 350. So I got those settings in there. We're going to hit start. And there you go. Under 1.1 to 1 across the entire 20 meter general portion. Uh, 1.0175 at 14.292. Wow, that is unbelievably awesome Let, let's take a i won't bore you with every band but let's take a look at uh, 40 meters just to see how she does there so we're going to go with 7125 to 7300 and we'll hit start let's see what happens live tv here we go wow Lowest uh, 1.3 at 7153 megahertz, uh, but basically under 1.4 uh, across the entire 40 meter uh, band. So, point being, I haven't touched this. This isn't trimmed. I, this is exactly the way it came from spool tenna. No adjustments at all. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Just for giggles, let's look at uh, let's look at 10 meters real quick. Let me get that in there, 28,300 to 29,700. And we hit the start. I love this little lamp scope app because it just makes it so easy. Okay, it's got to reconnect. It lost the connection. Let's try it again. Okay, there you go. There's 10 meters. Com the complete band is under 1.4. Uh, to one uh, lowest reading 1.214 at 29.2 megahertz but it's basically 1.2 throughout the middle of the entire middle portion of the 10 meter band that is just fantastic all right let's test one more let's look at 15 meters we'll check all the bands this rascal's supposed to work on right so let's do 21 200 this is the extra class, but it's all right. 21, 450. And then we should hit start and let's see what she says. Okay, at, uh, look at that. I mean, under 1.2 across the entire band, uh, top of the band 1.05 SWR at 21,450, but it's basically just barely over the one, one-to-one uh, -one. I think you can see that look at that it's pretty awesome so guys let me just say let me get that Sun uh, whew, that Sun was in a bad position right there y'all have heard me talk about spool tenna and I just love this thing it is so well tuned right out of uh, right out of the box basically um, the makers of spool tenna have just done a fantastic job with this uh, with this infed so um, anyway highly recommend it the deployment is so easy now you can elevate both ends you can elevate the feed point you can elevate the radiating element you can do it however you want to you can do it on a sloper you can do it flat um, 
you can fool around with it any way you want uh, and it works in all the applications so uh, highly recommend it again uh, we've talked about the high vis wire uh, check out the website at spooltender.com because uh, they have uh, all kind of bundles uh, where you can buy the pieces parts etc um, in uh, in bundles uh, that saves you a few dollars and uh, and if you're unlike me You've got some RG316, so you're not <laughs> attaching that heavy coax to it. Anyway, check out Spool Tenna. Fantastic product, and uh, we'll get this thing on the air uh, and maybe do that in another video. Of course, y'all have seen enough of that. But uh, anyway, thanks for coming along. Great product. Check it out. Spool Tenna.